what would the, the the KLC today say to that KLC that was uh, first uh, dealing with uh, Master P and all this stuff before it even took off? What what would you say to that guy to get him prepared for what he was about to face? Um, don't put your loyalty before paperwork. Wow, mm. I agree. I agree 100%. Mm. That's that's what you should be telling them. Because mm. it's all business. Because that's it's friend, but it's all business. Right. But see the thing and see the thing about it was like when we when we when we first got with no limit, me, me, a P, serve Moby Dick, we were so, so it was just us. Mm. It wasn't what you saw in 98. Okay. It was just us, so it was more like Family. Wow. Mm-hmm. Even they were family then, but it was like, put it like this, said, just said we all start this big thing, right? Mm-hmm. And it just start popping. And then we started to, we started bringing in other people. You know what I'm saying? And it's different because they wasn't there in the mud with you. You coming in where the success has been done already. You know wow. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's hard to kind of put certain people in that boat, you know what I'm saying? And I learned a lot of that even like with the money situation to where like um, a friend of mine, you know, he's a multimillionaire and he told me a story about it was him and a couple multimillionaires. So they each was telling their stories about their success. But they wanted to know from each other of what was the fuck ups? Yeah, I can tell. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They wanted to know like what was the things that um, I need to expect mm-hmm, because mm-hmm. it's easy when it comes to when you having success, right? Mm-hmm. That's the easiest part to talk about. That's true. You learn more from fuck ups. Because as long as you doing things and it's good, you really don't see what's wrong or what could happen. I so believe that because even then, <clears throat> you're older now and you've learned so much. But turn around and trying to educate some of these younger people from your mistakes, sometimes that doesn't help because not everybody's going to listen. They have to bump their own heads and have to go through their own situations themselves to really right. learn. Right. So it's just... It's like you want to give back. You you don't want someone to go through what you've been through. So you want to give back and you want to see the new generation be smarter and wiser right. and better than you were. You know what I mean? Right. And that's why it wasn't when when when, when he asked the question about what what would the KLC not tell the the, uh, the KLC back then is this it's like um when 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 we was always to a point to where, like, if we are that close within a family, the last thing that we need to be considering is, like, being done wrong. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So when we went into that situation, it's like, I know things is going to be right. And then the truth of it is, during that time, Thing was, you know, everything was, was good. flowing good, right? Everything was flowing. So, and 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 and, you know, as things evolve, you know, people change. Um, I don't know what the uh, we all don't know um, the future motives. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. with me, music is something that I always wanted to do. You know, that's why, I like, when I was on No Limit. I never invested in into, into anything because anything I was so deep into music. Anything that was dealing to, with music is what I wanted to do because mm-hmm. there's so many ways you can make a living off of music. Because music, and I'm not talking about lyrics that's written on music. I'm just talking about just making music, the music part of it. That's the only thing that don't need words to that everybody can adapt to. Mm. That's true. That's, you know, the, the thing I can say about you, man, <clears throat> like I said, I always say thank you. That's my thing. <laughs> right. Whoever's sitting in that seat, it'd be something. I'd be like, man, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have did a lot of stuff because I moved by the music. Right. That's how I move. Right. Like when I put in my, my my stuff in the car, like, yeah, I'm, I, you right. brought me through a lot of different times, man. 
And right, and see the thing about it is that like when 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 it comes down with me, um, when I make music, I don't go into the studio thing about um what I'm gonna make today. You know how you know how my music is made. However, I'm feel however how I'm feeling that day. That's what's coming out the studio. Okay, excluding yourself. Top three producers of all time. Mm-hmm. Didn't you say you were going to ask nah, him that? That yeah, is yeah, yeah. easy. <laughs> <laughs> that is easy. Exclude yourself. Top three producers of all time. That is easy. Larry Smith. Larry Smith. I'm going to break down. He made all Houdini and Run DMC oh, for his stuff. That was okay. it right there. Okay. See, me and you, we right yeah, home. Right we in the car in the front seat, baby. Come you know on, what man. <laughs> Friends. <laughs> Top <laughs> them. Oh, oh, man. Come on, hey, man. Hey, one love, one baby. Love. Come on, man. Stop playing. Don't do this, man. Come on. One, man. Hey, man, it was so many of them, man. Uh, 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 the freeze come out oh, at night. night. Come on. <laughs> the freeze come out That was it. Night. That was when music was hitting different. I had yeah. the records, man. I, I, I was in the woods. I really couldn't go oh, many yeah. places, but I, I was I was, I was, was getting down. I had my thing going. So okay. that's it, Larry. Larry Smith, Mantronics. Mantronics. I've heard of Mantronics. Okay. Oh, yeah, Mantronics. is like, these, these are the first two producers. Mantronics is the first producer that made me say, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> when he do that to you, it's war. Yeah, because when 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 I heard this shit, I'm like, cause the, put it like this here, we talking about shit that was done in '86, to where when you listen to it, you could have sworn that the technology they had right now it's he had it back then. back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did shit to where out. I don't hell know how he do it. Right, but 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 when you talking about Larry Smith. He didn't sample nobody music. He didn't believe Came, into yeah. everything because he was he was um that five minutes of funk. Yeah. <laughs> right. I and heard it. And, and then he never and just just the shit that he made. <laughs> I was like, God damn! Like, cause I became friends with um DJ Hurricane. He used okay. to run with Jam Master J. Okay. And run them see with the hottest crew. Yeah. And um, I used to say, man, what the Man, what was it like? It's like nobody just couldn't. It's like he getting his because he was a live. He was a yeah, live. Yeah. Play, you could tell. Bass player. You could tell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, he um, knew what he was doing. So it would be Larry Smith, Mantronics, Mantronics. The third one, it would be. Oh, God damn. That third Why one. is that the third one? Because <laughs> <laughs> you got to narrow them out. Then you you weeding all the ones out. Right, because if you say top five. You know what I'm saying? Put, put, it, put it like this: after your first two, is it, it's like anybody else. They can depend. They, they can fall in any in, slot. In, in slot. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And you be trying to pick out of those right. ones that could fall in that slot. But I would have, damn. I, you know what? Hold on. <laughs> I have it in my phone. <laughs> I have it in my phone. Oh, that's crazy. I you already it. know. But I know those two, though. Those two. Larry Smith and uh, Mantronics, 1A, 1B. That's and, high. And, and, and them two, it depends on how I'm feeling that day, who will get that, we'll get one that one number one spot. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Man, but when I think about One Love and Houdini, it's hard, man. Right. I mean, because them, I mean, that was, them, them beats was crazy. The sound was crazy. You could listen to it all day, and it just right. go. <clears throat> but see, you see that third spot, it could be, um... It could be uh, it could be Rick Rubin. It that's can, it. You can't. <coughs> he said it could be either one. Yeah, right? Let's let's stick up Rick Rubin. <laughs> that's the first name off the tip of your tongue. No, 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 no. It can't be Rick Rubin. Right, right. But it, 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 it can it can be like like Arthur Baker. He the one that made like Planet Rock. Oh, <laughs> woo. <laughs> that was serious, dog. Yeah, the club scene was different back then. But see, like, like I uh, was going, I was young see, and going. Right, you see the reason why I say that because you listen to all of these, like, man, that the, was a different the level. Miami, the Miami, the Miami booty shake music up tempo. Yeah, it started from that record. That record. And that then, Planet Rock was. Crazy. And then, Nito still called me about that damn right. song. Right, and then you got to think about he signed new addition to his label. See, mm-hmm. this a bad boy. You know what I'm saying? It's a bad boy. He uh, he did my favorite breakdancing record. See, when he when um, I when I finally caught him out there, we'd have had problems. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what up? He did Funky Makosa. See, a bad boy. I'm telling you, but, but bad boy. So right. is he your top three? Oh, he in my top five. 
<laughs> so who is your number three? I'm still trying to figure it out. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> man. God damn. Let's just yeah. show you the love for the music, man. The it, love it, for the it, music. He's trying to throw it's all these names out level, and, can't, and can't put them to that number but three. See, right, but the thing about it, everybody that I named that I'm saying is in the top five. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm just trying to make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You picked the right one I to go in that right three. That third that three. Um, and you know what gonna happen? I'm gonna go get my phone and say, that's what I was talking about. <laughs> but I know it is Larry Smith, Mantronics. Um, it could be Rick Rubin or Arthur Baker. Wow. Um, I see the, this guy knows his music. Mm -hmm. He playing no games with He's it. He's been doing it a while. It's life. Um, it's life. That's what it's. It's life. And see, the, the, and another reason why I'm saying these artists is like, whoever your favorite. Wait, wait. First of all, let me get this here. This is my favorite producers in hip hop or or anything. Anything. Yeah. Anything. Anything. Yeah. But see, if that's the case, uh. Shit, I'm looking at Maurice White from Earth, Wind, and Fire. <laughs> it changed up a little bit. Right, right. I'm looking at goddamn Quincy Jones. Oh, woo. Then we're talking about Barry White. Oh, he going in. Hey, <laughs> if we get to that point, no rap, no hip-hop producers going on Don't even make it. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. yeah I like it. I, because the reason why, because hip-hop started off sampling. So there like, it is. You look at Dr. Dre, right? He's considered the, the top hip-hop producer ever. Now, if you were to put him in front of Parliament, how would you do that when he sampled Parliament music? Yeah, yeah, you can't do that. You can't do that. It, but, I, I've had discussions about stuff like right, that on this show. Right. But, but you can't do that. But Dre, he, he he's a he monster. good. He good. Don't get me wrong. But it's just like me owning. Let me, you let know me say this: owning stores. <clears throat> I've all, I've owned stores, and we've owned multiple stores. But the guy that introduced me to dealing with stores. No matter if he only had one location, I'll always respect him way more. I don't care what I've done. Right. Because of the, taking us to the trade shows mm -hmm. and taking me and showing <clears throat> me the ropes. You see right. what I'm saying? So you can never, I don't think, if I if you get something from somebody, I don't think you can over exceed them. You have so right. much respect <clears throat> for them. But Dre is a dope motherfucker. He in my top five without a doubt. But let me, let me, let me clear something up with, with both of you. People use the term producing the way you hear it in the wrong way. Really? Yeah. And I can I get it. <clears throat> producing is not making beats. Producing is you seeing a project from start to finish. Meaning through if you in the booth singing, right? And I'd be like, you know what? Don't sing it like that, sing it like this. Mm -hmm. Change this word to that word because it has more meaning and it flows better into the lyrics. Wow. And when you say it, don't say it with that much, that much of aggression. Yeah. I get it. A that producer is the one that, that that's going to sit up here and and after you do that, they'll be, go to the mixing part. Like, you know what? Let's not put that snap there. Turn the snap on a little bit. Put the kick up. That's oh, crazy. As a matter of fact, the strings bring them down a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when you go into mastering, a producer, put it like even even better. A producer, the music is like a director. See, I was just about to, to ask movie. you that. I was just about to ask I you that. That's, that's, what, that's what I was thinking. I, I was like, right. but then in a movie, you have a producer and you have a director. Well, some sometimes they they can do, do both. both. They multitask. Okay, you know that's what I'm why I was. I but was just put it like this: you look at all the comic book movies, right? They're taking a script that was already written in comic books. And now, what a director gonna do is listen to that. He gonna look at that comic book. He gonna read the story and take what you have in his book and put it on the screen. Yeah. Even though he didn't write it. Yeah. He just taking what you do and put it to where people can see it. He's taking your imagination so people can see it. Let me ask you this, because <clears throat> you just made me think about something. When you say movies, are you ever going to do something where you can captivate what you've, capture what you've done, documentary or something, a, like a, a short biography? film, a biography? Beast by the Palm, we working on one now. Y'all already working on it? Yes, we are. Yes, okay, sir. okay. Uh, and that's, that's, that's needed. That's history. It's going to be very entertaining, too. I, I know you know. <laughs> 
<laughs> how long I know have you been details on, on everybody. How, how long have you been working on it? We've been working on it, but this shit, goddamn COVID hit and just fucked everything. Well, let me know, man, because <clears throat> I... So when are they shooting to maybe we, we, coming we, out we with it? We're finally starting to film. Okay. We were finally starting so to film. So how long does that normally take? Like it's once, up to them. once people start to film, how long does it take before it take two years. like take a movie a year. normally? Comes I want out? Put, it like this here. Put it like this here. Just think about this here. When you interview certain people, you know, you gotta go through the editing, cutting this out, whatever, mm. whatever. Correct. Because mm -hmm. I Correct. was That's I was, right. the one we wanna do. Nah, fuck all that editing editing shit. You let it run. Nah, it, I, I don't want nothing edited. You because, want it ran. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then we may find like when you when you went way back with me, how how we started this interview, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Now just think if I had video footage to show y'all some of this oh, shit. I'd be thrown. Mm -hmm. I gotta ask you something else too before I forget. Young Bleed, he been on this show. Mm -hmm. You knew Young Bleed. You had yeah. to. Me and Young Bleed, we, we real solid. Yeah, I talk to him all the time. He was mm -hmm. one of my first guys that came virtual, and he was like, man, I'm going to help you. And right. we talk he, We talk all the time. Like He just be so busy. Yeah, he be super busy now all right. of a sudden. But at first, he had made time for me because, mm -hmm. you know, I needed him. Right. You know what I mean? And and it's just something. How, would you, the, He would tell me stories about the P thing, too. Because mm -hmm. over time, I think everybody's going to have situations. It's like you and your brother and sister, me and my right. family member. Certain family members, uh, me, we don't really talk like we used to when we was kids. Right. You know, my sisters, I love her. But we just not like we were when right. we were growing up in the same house. That's the way it is with people who do music right. together. It's the same thing, really. It's like it's like everybody, even though everybody have a different story to tell, because it wasn't like um, everything he said applied the same to everybody. Because you talking about Master P, right? It wasn't. It wasn't. Um, everybody different people because it's like first of all, you look at like Mia X, right? Yeah. She the only female on the label. Correct, Amundo. Well, her well then then came Mercedes, but you 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 didn't treat them the same because they're two different type of mm -hmm. people. That's correct. They're two different artists, and then they bring a different value. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And that was like the same like with the artists. You know what I'm saying? To where you know you're gonna go through basic stipulation that you will go through, just like um. You have your standards of how things are paid. You know okay. what I'm saying? And how things can go within um contractual situations. Mm -hmm. But everybody is not treated the same because everybody's value is different. Wow. Now, Young Bleed came into a point to where he was already signed with CeeLo. Correct. And whatever them and P worked out, that was on them. So, you know... If I don't know too much about the people that I bought in and came with, I don't know, definitely don't know nothing about how they business went. Business went. Correct. Yeah, because he was telling <clears> me, <throat> I didn't even think of that as the remix until he told me, go back and listen to the first of it. Like that that uh, that song. How you do that, though? was a mm -hmm. remix. He told yeah, me. That, was, that was. He done. said it was already hot. It was already out mm -hmm. and hot, you know what I'm saying? And like when Pete picked it up and worked out without the deal to put a Young Bleed record out, that's when Pete just, he just. He got on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he big already at the time. Right. So that's going to bring a whole nother level of to that exposure. To that, right. Yeah, mm -hmm. to, that song, to that song. But I just think, you know, me, I think God works things out. I think it's already written. You know, I think when you started this interview off, you said that you couldn't, you know, you you didn't look at things a certain way. It's kind of like you was you, you couldn't see the picture from being in the picture is what I thought when you said, you know, like mm -hmm. you were just moving, you know, because like, how big was that? Did you know that song was going to be that big? I remember that. Kind right. of how, and you was like, no, nah, I really didn't think of it. Like, you, you see what I'm saying? Right. Because sometimes you be in a situation, but you really can't, you, I mean, you, you, it's something new, it's exciting, and it's your love. Right, so right, So you're kind of right. blinded by everything, you know, uh, except for that, to be Correct. honest with you, and that's how I think a lot of people get caught up in deals too. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Because they don't be thinking about the 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 monetary. Did you ever work with Lil Wayne or see Lil Wayne? I've never met him. Okay, okay, but you I knew people. I, I, that I probably met met Wayne once. About he was younger, so he would have moved ago. around quicker. And you know what? Me and, went, me and Wayne shared the stage at the same time and I didn't even know he was standing next to me until my manager <laughs> told me because he, he threw the Louisiana Fest, right? Yeah, yeah. And when Mystical went to DJ it said I DJ for Mystical. Okay. And Wayne was there on the stage but I, I it never, I never looked his way because 
when mystical perform, you have to keep your eyes on him. He Energetic. Boy, yeah. Man, he is lightning. He he is electricity and water. I got to get him on the show. Got to get him on here. You got to get him on he here. He is electricity and water. You can hear water. that in all his songs. <clears throat> oh, yeah. That's why I got to get him on here because he might do a little. He might give me some. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, he, 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 he is. Oof. Yeah, that's a different he's level of energy, right? I know when right. that, he's like when that, that all the time, whether in front of people. Because, you know, sometimes. Des, put it like this. People always ask because he. The, like he is very energetic and he's outspoken or yeah, whatever yeah. Right. and fun so people always ask me is he like this at home you know so that's why I'm right. trying to figure out is he that way all the time or he's only Man, in front he, of no he is just just like that put it it's like when you hear DMX talk you think he about to start rapping too mm -hmm, yeah mm -hmm. that's how mystical is the way he is on his records and you see him in his video he is like that real person. Wow, that's crazy, man. It, and and I, I, like I said, I got to meet this guy. I already know it's going to happen, I believe, man. Oh, let me tell you something. <laughs> you get him on, when you get him on this show, you're talking about entertainment. Yeah, he didn't went through a lot, like the little beef that he had back in the day. I don't know what that beef was about with the, I think it was Yellow Boy and all kind of little stuff they had going on. Oh, that was, <laughs> that was, that was, that was a long that time was, uh, ago, I remember. You know, that was just like, Local dominance and rap. Yeah, just like like sparring in the hood. Mm. Cash money always in it. Fuck yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, man. So, but I got a question. So your son lives here in Dallas now. Right. Have you ever thought about moving to Dallas yourself? We need you here. Come on, man. Look, let me tell you something. This is your home. I always thought about if I was to move, it would be in, and it's just ironic, the places that I would love to move is where all my favorite teams are. Wow. So Cowboys That's is one Cowboy. of your favorite teams. You know it. <laughs> it will be it will be Dallas because the Cowboys. Um, Phoenix. I'm a huge Suns fan. Mm -hmm. Seattle because I'm a huge Ken Griffin. Uh, Ken Griffin, Ken Griffin fan. fan. Seattle Mariners, my favorite yeah. baseball team. Um, my goddamn uh, favorite college basketball team is North Carolina. Okay. Well, we need you to come to Dallas. Don't oh, even yeah. think about all that other stuff. You know, Your son is here now, so might son as well. Is, is gonna, might as well move on over here. It ain't no sense in playing with it, man. Yeah, but you he's might still, well come yeah, on yeah, home. Yeah. We, you can always, this, and it's close to Louisiana. You can dip and hit 20 and be home in no time. Yeah, me and so Corey, yeah. me, me and Corey just talk. We, we, <laughs> we, we don't get We're trying to get him to cross over to be a cop. I mean, yeah, he a Saints fan by all. He ain't what? Get, he ain't giving He got that the shirt up. on just he for you. He got a Cowboys shirt on. Who? Corey. Corey. This Corey? No, not yeah, this Corey, but not me and Corey try to talk my son into Corey. Oh, you're a Saints fan. Oh, yeah, oh, okay. man, son, but yeah. hell, you can't blame me from there. Yeah, uh, true. Y'all wow. You know, you from there, you but you're a Cowboys fan. Yeah, y'all yeah, wow. Y'all wilding out. Y'all twisting it all so, the way up. Oh, I would love, hold on. Time, I would love to see, I would love to see <laughs> your house when the Cowboys playing the Saints. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, that's a good time right there. It's terrible. It, 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 it's, Them it's, two be at each other. It's terrible, bro. <laughs> it is terrible. What was you about to say? Because I'm about to go in. No, nah, I was about to say because, come on, man. Like, like I mean, I, I stay in Baton Rouge right there by LSU. Come on, I'll play with me. Oh, that's what's <laughs> up, man. Thank you so much for coming on the show, yes, man. Always, man. Say, man, we're going to get you back, too. Every time you come to town, we want to hear what's going down. I'm going to invite when that, when that, when that, uh When that short film come out, Mm -hmm. I, I want you to bring and let me see what's going on with it, cause oh no doubt, for, cause I definitely know that it's gonna be a banger. Or come from out your and tell perspective, us. cause you gonna tell the truth. See some of that stuff, I know they gonna hide. Them big boys ain't gonna tell the truth, right? <laughs> or, bef or before you release it, you come and you know talk to our listeners on here and let them know, hey, look out for this. This is when it's releasing. Oh yeah. Oh, as a matter we can of fact, help push it. As a matter of fact. I just dropped my album, KLC the Drum Major P1. Go See, get that. There you go. Well, it, well, it, it, that's good stuff right there. I have Daz from the Dog Pound, Snoop Juvenile. That's hot. Um, Me and Manny did a song together. Uh, Lil John. You know, I have my No Limit Family, Fiend, Mystical. All of them. Mia X, Serve On. Mia X, too? Come on, man. Don't play with me. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you got everybody. And, yeah. and they can and, and definitely I see you on Instagram. I'm about to follow him for the tap in here in a minute. We for the and lock all this in. Don't forget to follow Boss Talk Podcast oh, yeah, on one. As a matter of fact, uh, send me a send tag me in, and as soon as I 
As soon as we uh, get off the air, I'm, I'm following. That's what's oh, okay. up, man. Thank you so much, KLC, for coming on the show, man. We, we love you, man. We wish you much success. Yes, and, and Dallas, hey, man, we got we going this year to the Super Bowl. Yeah, that's what I said. I hope Y'all can so. fill us Come on, on that. Stop playing with us. Don't play with us. It's a unique hustle, I man. I hope so. Boss Talk 101. And we out.